Welcome to the Essentials tutorial on how to get key codes using Surpass. To log into Surpass, type Essentis.surpass.com into the browser address bar. Once you're on the screen, you'll need to enter your username and password. Once logged in, you will need to click onto the Test Administration tab. To reach the next screen, you will need to enable Flash, so you can do this through your browser settings or following the directions on the screen. You will now be able to see the Invigilator page, where you will be able to select your learners and print off their key codes. From here, you can also filter a number of columns, including using test name, class ID, learner ID, or candidate name. The tags tab is equivalent to the class ID, so you will be able to filter down to a particular class by using this. The candidate ref column is equal to the Ascentis learner ID. By clicking the tab, you can put the learner IDs into ascending or descending order. You can also use this column to search an individual learner ID to find a particular learner. You can also filter by how far through the assessment process a learner is. So if you want to see who has finished the assessment, just go into the tab and select finish. But likewise, this can be used to show who has not yet taken the assessment and has it ready. Select the learners that you would like to print the key codes for by clicking to highlight them. Once you have done this, click Print Vigilation Pack. And if you want to, you can actually have multiple key codes per page or singular. This will generate a document with all of the key codes for every learner you have selected. All you need to do now is send it to the printer so that you are able to distribute it accordingly, ready for the assessment to be taken. Additionally, there are four fixed filters, locked for invigilator, in progress, paused, and finished. Choosing any of these will show the status of your learners. You should now be able to download key codes using Surpass. If you require any further guidance, please see the user guide or contact support at Ascentis.